What would you do if you could paint anywhere? Your school, the park, or car, your house, anywhere, and not get in trouble? What if you could blatantly write something in big, loud, messy colors and not get pulled over by the police or angry owners? If you had the creative freedom to do anything within your abilities and talents, would you do it? Would you master it? If you had the tools and creative insight? Well, I totally have a way. Hi, I'm Morgan. And I do actually have a way to do all this without all the messy stuff like cops and criminal records and yeah. It's called like graffiti. Light graffiti, a photographic technique in which exposures are made usually at night or in a darkened room by moving a handheld light source or by moving the camera. Seriously. And also, this has been around for a while, so, you know, I'm not just making this up. It was in a Sprint commercial, too, so, you know, just don't believe me. Just saying. Truthfully, I don't know all the technical stuff, but I have an interview with my teacher tomorrow, so I should be able to find it all out. Until then, I'm going to do some research. Okay, so I researched the hell out of that. So now all I gotta do is interview my teacher. To create light graffiti, you need to use a long shutter speed mode in your camera. Usually that's a manual mode or a uh, sort of a semi-automatic like mode such as shutter priority mode. And in this mode, you tell the camera uh, what shutter speed you want of the long one, of course, and it will calculate the rest of the variables to create the proper exposure. And with a slow shutter speed like 20 or 30 seconds or even longer, um, the window that is in between the lens and the actual imaging sensor inside the camera or the film in the days of film uh, is what opens up and stays open longer. And the longer it's open, the more data or light information can be gathered. And so this gives you a chance to move around in front of the frame. And only what is, of course, changing in the image, what variable is changing in the image, is what's going to be shown up as, as a part of that light graffiti. The background will stay perfectly clear, but the foreground that's moving, that is, is what's going to be animated across the entire exposure. The tools you need to do light graffiti are very simple actually. You need a camera that has manual control that you can take over and out of automatic mode and you need a tripod because the camera shot needs to be steady. A tripod is important because you need to have a steady shot otherwise the background will be blurry and everything in your image will be blurry. A tripod is really important, but you don't always need to have one. You just need something to stabilize the camera. So you can improvise by using a ledge, a bench, a table, anything that is a flat surface that is steady and that you can put the camera on that won't move during the exposure. Uh, my preference for equipment for doing light graffiti is to use what's called a digital SLR camera. And this is a large camera, and I'll give you an example of one right here. This is the Canon Rebel. Uh, it's actually very simple to use, although it has lots of different options. But the manual control is simply laid out. Uh, and it's all easy to access, so you can do a long shutter exposure without spending a whole lot of time setting it up. And because it's uh, a solid camera, the wind won't really move it around during the exposure. There's a lot of fun things you can do with light graffiti. You can spell out names. So wave your magic wand or your light or your glow stick around and, and, and spell out a name. And then on camera, it will show the name, of course, if it's a long enough exposure. You can do it one letter at a time or do the whole name sort of like cursive, like those iPod commercials. Uh, you can also use fire or anything else like that with adult supervision. <laughs> you can also do other things where you wave them around, like you can use glow sticks or fire and wave them around. And instead of spelling out specific words, you create rings and streaks along the image. And that can be very fun and creative. Okay, so now I know the how. All I gotta do is figure out the where and the when and make sure both are pretty dark. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm... Finally, a misunderstood artist because last night while I was doing the light graffiti, um, I kind of stayed out a little bit too late and I got in really big trouble and my grandma yelled at me. So, I 
I'm grounded. It's like so cool because like <sighs> I'm misunderstood. She thinks it's something really stupid. When it's not. I think it's safe to say that I'm a light graffiti artist, you know, officially. You know, I enjoy it, I've had fun, I've made sacrifices. And you know, I bought a beret, so you know what? I'm an artist, okay? Get over it. And with that, I have finished my quest and am therefore fulfilled. So